What size water cooler do you actually need to cool down your top end processor? Well, in this video, we're going to test all the Arctic liquid freezers freeze from Arctic to see which one you actually need. So will a 240 millimeter be able to do it? Or will this big 420 millimeter be the only option? So down to testing, most of the information you'll need is on the screen, but in basics we're doing the testing in a climate controlled room at 21.5 degrees Celsius. It is also soundproofed, and on top of that we run each test three times for 30 minutes on exactly the same hardware. So down to testing, in this first test we're getting the average temperature when the fans, or the cooler as a whole, is running at 50% speed. And as you can see here, the liquid freezer 420mm version came out at 71 degrees Celsius, all the way up to the 240mm which came in at 82 degrees Celsius. So for an average temperature, all of them are able to cool down an Intel i9 13900K without actually an issue. In this test we're doing exactly the same thing but this time we're checking the maximum temperature and as you can see here the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 the 240mm version came in at 92 degrees a little bit toasty but in all honesty can still cope cooling it and obviously the Higher end cooler like the 420mm came in at 81 degrees Celsius, so a lot cooler, and that is actually pretty good considering the heat this i9 processor puts out. In this next test, we're doing the same thing again, but this time with the fans running at 100% speed and we're getting the average temperature. And as you can see, there is again a bit of a difference between the smaller and the larger one, but again, all able to cool that i9 processor without an issue. There isn't much of a difference between the 360mm version and the 420, but there is a big jump if you go all the way down to the 240mm, but considering it's performing actually pretty well. So in this test we're testing the fans running at 100% speed and we're getting the maximum temperature. And as you can see here there is a 7 degree difference between the 420 and the 240mm but very little difference between the 420 and the 360. Obviously it gives you a bit more room for overclocking but in comparison they would all cool down any of the Intel i processors from it. i5, i5, i9 without an issue. In this test we're looking at the decibel levels, this is with the fans running at 50% speed and as you can see here, unsurprisingly the 420mm version is louder than the 240mm version but in reality not that huge of a difference, only 4 decibels between them considering the 420mm has got 3 large fans in comparison to the 2 smaller fans. So in this last test we're checking the decibel levels again at 100% speed so the cooler is running completely flat out as fast as it can to keep itself cool and obviously that produces more noise but in reality between the 240mm and the 420mm there is only 3 degrees difference. So in conclusion, which cooler do you actually need? Well, in reality, they will all do the job. Now, don't get me wrong, the 420mm one will keep it a lot cooler than the 240 But saying that, none of the coolers made our top-end processor thermal throttle. Now bear in mind your results will differ, and that's due to your case and airflow. If you've got a restricted airflow on your case and not enough cool air is getting in, then your radiator and components are going to get hotter. Obviously if you've got good airflow, you could potentially get better results than we did. I'm pretty sure you'll be happy with whichever cooler you decide to go for. But if you are deciding to overclock and you just want that little bit more headroom, then I would obviously suggest you go for something like the 420, maybe the 360, or even the 280. Where can you go and meet hundreds of people just like you? Strengthen existing relationships and forge new ones with vendors and distributors, and meet some of the biggest names in the industry.
where you will be able to go and see the newest tech and services that you need to make your IT business grow. And there'll be thousands of pounds worth of prizes up for grabs. And what's more, you get all that for a quid. TechMax 2024 will be on the 21st of June at Magna Adventure and Science Centre near Meadow Hall in Sheffield. This year's event will incorporate a live tech awards with evening casino entertainment, meeting areas, demo and interactive areas and 800 other techs just like you. So go get registered now at tftmax.com. Com. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.